Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 308 of the Army Man LP Exhibitions. And today we'll be going into Whose Woods. Wait a minute, hold on. What's the name of the original book? La Di Da Plains. Who's. Who names these damn worlds? Whatever the case, we're starting level one of world two in Who's Woods. Now, this basically would have meant that you would have had to buy all of the uh, power-ups that was available in the store because you're going to need them. God forbid you will. But more importantly, those two blocks I just hit would unlock, like, hidden platforms that will allow me to go higher up. And they'll stay that way until I accidentally hit them and turn them off. Which chances are, spoiler alert, I do! But whatever the case, ladies and gentlemen, we need to go up here for our first toad. Wow, um, I am not smart. <laughs> That's okay, I'm going to get back up there again. Or I'll just use, uh, Joy to fly up there, whichever one comes first. However, um, you might want to understand that all the kit gloves are off. They expect you to have at least a few uh, power-ups by the time you make it here. And... While I'm falling off the platforms, this is much. This is basically what a Smash player has to go through. And by the way, I thought that Koopa Shell would have actually uh, KO the Koopa, but instead it caused him to go back into a shell. That's kind of the most mind-boggling and baffling thing out of the entirety of this playthrough that I've done. And what am I doing? That's not where I needed to go. Ugh. It was the other pipe, but whatever. The more coins I collect, the more uh, power-ups I can buy. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to buy a lot of power-ups off-screen. And that'll probably be by episode 309. I'm definitely going to need them because three and a half hearts is not a- Oh god! I did not notice that angry Koopa over there. So, uh... He just goes in a straight line, thank God. That is rather annoying. I need to get rid of that thing now before he gets even more of an asshole. Oh God, he hit me. <sighs> it's all right, it's all right. I'll make up with it by using Calm if it gets too, you know, ridiculous. Pretty sure this right here would lead to nothing. Actually, no, it does lead to something. It leads to a bigger coin. And a music box! I forgot about that. We still have to get those. Yeah, and we could also um go into the menu and listen to the La Di Da planes uh music. So, let's go back into the pipe. We still gotta go back into the other pipe to go deal with the other toad, but there's the first toad. It's going to be this way. You don't necessarily have to get the toads in any order, just so long as you complete the stage before you beat the- no, no. Just so long as you get them before you complete the stage. And then my retarded behind is almost dead, so there's only one thing left to do. We're gonna have to use Joy, or... Yeah, we're gonna have to use Joy to get up there. Cause there's that toad right there. What am I doing, you idiot? Oh, no, you fool! Go ahead. Feed the Nippers and the Koopa to Perry. They must be sacrificed. Oh, God. Sad Nippers are a bad thing. And I've already mentioned that, uh, 
Oh, I just realized I'm low on health, so let's be calm first. Be cool, people. And if I could just fly up to the other side, I could probably get some more, uh, health, because that, uh, part is right up there. No, you fool! The other way! Okay, fine, fine. I'll just eat the nipper and eat the Koopas again and refill my, uh, five gauge and try to get the heart. Ah, <sighs> this is why people don't watch my videos, because I do make some mistakes and it comes back to bite me. Now be a good lad and go over to the right, okay? This works too. Where's our first toad? We'll just kill the Koopa and get ourselves another heart. Or just probably run into the nippers, probably. I'm not sure what my what past me is thinking. Oh wait, no, we're not running into the nippers. Good, thank god. Oh wait, no, actually we almost did. Tom the fly! Now hopefully this will fully hit- Oh, actually no, I only got one. Never mind. I'm still going to need some more, um, hearts. Really? I need them. And I need more vibe. So we must feed Perry. And guess what? I accidentally triggered the switch. Yeah, that's stupid. Oh, what did I do that for? So let's climb up and try to get out of the stage. Now then! Aside from Angry Koopas, there's gonna be a new mechanic introduced in the next uh, level because we're doing two levels this part. That's why the part's really long. So, yeah, it's not like I'm trying to make it long or anything. Sometimes I make stupid mistakes and it makes it longer. Like, for instance, I'm supposed to go down the pipe that I just passed by. See? Now then. Stupid fish. I'm going to have to get me some more, uh, I'm gonna have to get me some more vibe, I really do. I may have to use Calm, and it's gonna prevent me from dying, but still. This right here is a hop skip, I would say a hop skip and a jump away, but this will lead to the next toad, which is trapped right past that pipe. So that's basically all we went through that for. And now the last one should be far and few in between. It should be in the last pipe over there. And then afterwards, we can beat the stage. Or, I can simply pass by and slap myself in the face because, yeah. Oh wait, no, what am I doing? Go back, that pipe's gonna lead to the end of the stage. And why am I falling off of the damn platform? <sighs> it's okay, it's okay. I know it's infuriating watching me play, but still, I am a noob at this. Oh wait, no, I was in the right pipe. I would have went straight to the ending by going into the other pipe. Oops. So I guess past me was right after all. Ah, damn it! No! Get off me! Stupid Goombas! It's okay. We're at the end. We got everything we need. And I think I'm gonna need this brick. Or this rock. Okay. What I meant to do was swack the thing with the rock to break open the... Um... Thank you! I meant to break open the bag and it actually gave me some more vibe. Nice! I gotta be careful of that bullet bill, and 
I only managed to get an onion. Oh well, it's okay. At least we got all the toads. So now on to Who's Woods 2-2. Two, two. So, let's see. Let's go to the shop first. I managed to get the pound umbrella, and I don't have enough for tough coffee or buy tea. So I managed to also buy all of the um, music that was available, so that means there's not much left to buy. Once I buy those upgrades, I guess that's it until they unlock some more in the next level. And also, if I'm not mistaken, there are puzzle pieces that are missing. I'm trying to remember where they are. Actually, how can I remember them when I'm a noob in this game? So anyway, our next uh, area is a moving screen. Oh joy, like these are infinite, infamous in Super Mario. And now that I stop and think about it, despite having three and a half... Uh, hearts, I now have three, because the game took away one of my hearts. Oh, and for the record, you do crush, oh, you get crushed, you do die, so yeah, there's that. But what is the new mechanic that I was trying to refer to? That new mechanic will eventually come right after we get through this area. It's probably near the end of the stage, actually. And that new mechanic is quite basically going to be using your tears for water mills. That's what that is. And unfortunately, it won't show up until later. By the way, I just picked up a puzzle piece. And watch out for the honey drops. They actually hurt. You can throw them on enemies. So that way, it'll actually hurt them, but Perry cannot eat them. No matter how hard he tries, just like picking up those rocks, Perry can't eat them. And watch out for those spikes. By the way, even if you are in any sort of vibe, the spikes turn off your vibe. And God damn it, you idiot, you are dying. Just screw it and go. Not worth it, dude. It's not worth it. Um, what are you doing? Okay, good. I have five. That's awesome. Let's just get out of the way of those things and just keep going. Idiot! All right. <laughs> There's a toad right there we're gonna need. Oh god, we do not need to fall off the cliff. Pass me. Think with your head. You're going to need jo Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. I'm not gonna die to this. I'm not gonna die to this. Oh my god, I got Castlevania off the cliff. Wow. Alright, let's try this again. Only this time we're gonna have to deal with Raven that's across the platform, and we are going to also use Joy to get to that toad. That's what I was doing, but my brain went the opposite direction. So, with that said, let's break the toad out, and that'll be our first toad. We still got two more to go, by the way. So, with that said... Avoid these uh, ravens and keep going. And in case you're wondering, yeah, they're ravens. They are pretty much kin to Raphael the Raven from Yoshi's Island. The Raphael the Raven that you had to literally ground pound a stake up its butt three times and it ends up being a constellation on the moon after the third hit. Now, you need to use Rage in order to get past that part. And my dumbass is going to try to pick a fight with Lucky 2. You fool! Don't just stand there and get hit. 
get on the damn cloud! And it faded away. You know what? Just go. And I don't have enough joy. God damn it. Damn it! Just go! Go, you fool! If Lucky 2 hits you any more times, you're dead! Just go! Oh god, it hit me again! Alright. Don't worry about the details, just try to get to the. Oh god damn it. I'm a fool. There was items in there. And I should calm, but unfortunately, I run into Lucky 2 like an idiot! And I tried to escape. I really did. Yeah, that was stupid. Real stupid. Alright, let's do this again. Only this time, we kill the Lucky 2. God damn it. We kill the Lucky 2. God damn it. Stop getting hit! We've already died twice in this blasted stage. Now then, once we come here, now we're gonna use Rage. So let's go on ahead and do that. Yeah, past me is just now thinking about using the stylus. Or should I say the mouse? Whatever the case, that was supposed to be to, um, Replenish your buy, but I guess there were coins here. I'm not sure if there's any. Oh, wait, there's nothing else here. Good lord. What am I doing? You fool! You used up all your vibe! Ah, oh, you're gonna need that! And it just dawned on me. Damn it! Well, I'm gonna have to beat the stage. At least I'll get the vibe back. So on that note, that's what I'm going to do. Because there's another toad on the way out. In fact, that toad will be straight ahead. And I tried to catch the fish that was here too. And I couldn't catch him. Damn. Yeah, it just took me a while, then it dawned on me that I needed, um, five in order to do that. So, with that said... Oh, by the way, that was the pinwheel I was... That was the, uh, water wheel I was talking about, oh, back there. Which I needed to use... Sad to get the waterworks going, and get the, uh... Water flowing, so I could open that last portal and have the last toad of the whole entirety of the level. But unfortunately, that wasn't the case. So, let's just go on ahead and leave this area, get ten coins, and go on to the next... Well, go on and try to get the toad. Now, this is what I was trying to refer to, because I still had some vibe left, so I'll be able to at least spin the water wheel. If you cry on the water wheel, you'll actually unlock something back where we last left, which was the, um, pipe. There's no time limit to getting to that pipe, but at least the pipe actually is accessible. Now then, we're gonna have to eat a lot of enemies in order for to get, uh, vibe. Because you're gonna need joy in order for to actually keep from falling directly into the spikes. And it looks like I'm grinding, that's because it most likely is. And also, you need anger too, because there's a bridge that you have to burn. Just thought I'd point that out too. Meanwhile, Perry the Parasol is having a five-course meal. And he literally just gives no fucks about eating Bowser's minions. Oh god, I'm gonna have to grind again! Good lord, have mercy. I just need to grind enough to float 
past the spikes, because again, those spikes are instant kill. Well, not really instant kill, but they automatically take away a heart. And you get into, like, three of them, I will bait them. If three spikes actually hit you, you're probably gonna die. Not probably, you are gonna die. I definitely need to get to the max health real quick. Whatever the case, this is basically a grind level, so we just need to have a running start. Or I could just use Joy, whichever one comes first. No, you fool, use Joy! I'm still gonna fill up the 5 meter on high. Yup, sure am. Alright, we're gonna make it. So now that we got enough joy, we, no, not enough joy, but enough vibe, we can use joy to make the trip. It's not a bottomless pit, but again, it has spikes on the bottom waiting for you. As you can see here. And I landed in the damn spikes like an idiot. But I got the toad! That's all that matters. Okay. <sighs> Let's just take the hit, and we'll just jump out of the area, and then we're gonna call it a game. Because we got all of the toads and everything we need to get from this stage. So on that note, I will see you guys in the next episode of Super Princess Peach as we got the world's two, three, and two, four to deal with. Not as long as these two worlds. So with that said, this is Army Man 985. See you guys in the next episode of the Army Man LP Exhibitions for more Super Princess Peach, and hopefully I don't die a lot next time. Peace out, and take care.